be showing you how to do an everyday glowy makeup look. All of the products I'm going to be using are available on Fragrance Direct's website and I've already done my brows to make things a little bit easier. But if you'd like to see how to get a really glowy everyday makeup then just keep watching. So obviously the first step is priming your skin and today to prime my skin I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. So this has like really small flecks of shimmer in it. Nothing that you're going to see when you've put your foundation over the top but you can also use this um, on top of your foundation like as a highlight as well as to prime your skin but this is just going to make everything we put on top really glowy and just make you look really healthy. So now I'm moving on to foundation and I'm going to be using the Revlon Colourstay 24 hour foundation today and I'm in the shade 250 Fresh Beige. This foundation comes in a bottle so I'm going to use a little concealer brush just to dip in and then spread it all over evenly. And I'm going to use a really fluffy brush to blend it in because we want it to be really, really glowy. You don't want it to like look too matte. This is a really lightweight foundation anyway, so it should just glide onto the skin. This foundation has a really nice medium coverage, but it is definitely buildable to a full coverage as well. And it gives such a nice, like, glowy finish, which is exactly what we want for this look. So next, I'm going to be concealing, and I'm going to use the Elizabeth Arden Stroke of Perfection Concealer in the shade Fair, number one. So this is like a little concealer stick. And I'm going to highlight with that first, so I'm just going to pop it on my forehead. And the centre of my chin. Just where my cupid's bow is, down the centre of my nose and then I'm going to take that underneath my eyes in a triangle shape. This is really really creamy um, and really full coverage so it's just going to like finish off the really flawless but still like glowy base that we want. And again I'm using a brush to blend all of that in and this is really really easy to blend. And I'm just taking that across my lids as well to prep our eyes for any shadow that we're going to be doing. And under the eyes I'm just um, rubbing to blend it out to begin with and then once I've started to blend it all out I'm just patting it in under my eyes just to really set the product and lock it in and obviously with this concealer you could also spot correct so any areas that you think you need a little bit more coverage um, you could also go over it with this but that foundation's given me a really nice coverage but doesn't feel heavy whatsoever so I'm just going to leave it at that and this concealer also doesn't feel heavy whatsoever everything just feels nice and fresh and exactly how we want it to so next I'm going to set everything in place and I'm using the W7 Banana Dreams Loose powder and I'm going to tap some of that into the lid and first of all I'm going to set under the eyes with that and then I'm also going to set my lids then I'm using a slightly bigger brush just to set the rest of my face and I'm just patting that over everywhere So now we're going to add some definition and bronze up the skin and I'm using the MAC Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder and I'm going to use the shade Dark Deep to bronze with and I'm using an angled brush and I'm just going to place that right underneath my cheekbones. And then I'm going to take it around the side of my face and then up onto my forehead so now we're going to add more glow to the skin and I'm going to be using the Sunkist Let It Glow Highlighter Palette 
This is actually a baked highlighter palette, which just means the shades in here are gonna be like really smooth. So in this palette, you've got a really big mirror, but you've got four really nice shades. So this could be used for like any skin tone. Today, I'm gonna mix this shade just here, the really light one, and I'm gonna mix it with this kind of pink shade up here. And I'm just gonna apply that to the very tops of my cheekbones. And then bringing it around my eyebrow and up onto the forehead. I'm taking it down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. And then again, just a little bit more above my eyebrows. And then I'm just going to take it along my brow bone just here to tie everything together. So the skin is done and we're looking really, really glowy and healthy. So I'm gonna move on to the eyes now. For the eyes, I'm gonna be using this Technique Pro Finish Eyeshadow Palette. You've got 16 shades in here, so it's perfect for every day. And you also get this brush in the palette, so I'm gonna be using this fluffy side of the brush. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with is this one, which is number two. They actually have the numbers like engraved in the shadow, which is quite handy. So I'm gonna go in with this first, and I'm just gonna use that to kind of set the lid. I know we've already set the lid, but I'm just gonna make sure it's all set in place so that everything blends on top nice and smoothly. Then I'm gonna go in with this shade just here. This is number four. And I'm gonna place this right in my crease, just going backwards and forwards, blending that out. Just using a little bit of a fluffier brush just to blend the edges of that out. Then I'm just going to deepen that up a bit. So I'm going to go into this shade just here, which is number six. And this is just a little bit of a warmer shade. And I'm just placing that in the crease again. So then I'm grabbing a flat brush and I'm gonna pick up this shade just here, which is number one. And that's a really pale shimmer shade. So we're gonna place this all over the lid just to really brighten that up and open up our eyes. So I'm just gonna grab a clean brush and I'm gonna use the shade number six again. And I'm just gonna run this along my lower lash line. just to tie everything together. Obviously, if you don't normally wear shadow, you can skip the lower lash line and just have it a little bit more fresh. But for me, I wear quite a lot of makeup, so this is still an everyday look. But obviously, you can just skip the lower lash line and it would look a lot more natural. So we're just gonna add some mascara now and I'm gonna use the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. And I'm gonna use that for my bottom lashes as well. Then all that's left to do is lips. So for my lips today, I'm using the Daniel Sandler Lip Luxury Lipstick. And mine is in the shade Goddess. So it's just like a really nice peachy nude, perfect for every day. It's really creamy as well, and it's not a matte finish, so it's gonna be really comfortable to wear every day. So it's just a really healthy, glowy, everyday makeup. So that's it for today. I hope you like the look and enjoyed the video. Bye.